Welcome everybody. Uh, this is the welcome video for uh, Math 171. Uh, asynchronous uh, summer uh, 2024 is the year. Uh, I'm Mr. Lee. I'm your instructor uh, during this summer session. Uh, I'm here to help you. I'm here to support. I'm happy to field questions. I'm happy to take a look at your work for you. So uh, we're going to go through, I'm going to try to keep this video to about 15 minutes, but I, I usually go over. But we're going to go through and uh, talk about North uh, course navigation, course navigation, and um, policies and procedures for the course. So the focus here is feeling comfortable with how the course works. So after this first day, you can really focus in on the content. Um, and I want to see some really good grades. Um, so let's uh, click around Blackboard. And we are using, if I can minimize this, the new version of Blackboard is referred to as Blackboard Ultra. So if you've been a student here for a while, this will look different. Um, and you do need to feel comfortable using um, our Blackboard course, navigating around our Blackboard course. So uh, the first day, you're going to see a lot of lock buttons and a lot of content isn't available because you must complete the course entry assignment before you are able to access anything. So the very first thing you need to do, it only takes a few seconds, click on course entry assignment, start, answer the question, submit, submit, don't really need to download it, and then you can close this out. I just got a ding saying I completed it. You'll get an email confirmation. And now you have access to the course content. Now, if I wanted to open test two, I could, or if I wanted to look at module seven, I could. Uh, there are eight modules in the course, and this is an eight week course. So roughly speaking, we talk about, we cover one module each week. Uh, there is a student hub, um, which has some college resources listed here. And there's a start here tab. Uh, it has my instructor information. Email is the easiest way to get in touch with me because I am not around the office this summer. So if you call my office number, phone, I, I won't be able to answer it. Um, so email is the easiest way to get in touch with me. Um, and I'm able to meet with you virtually. Uh, I can maybe meet with you in person, but I can definitely meet with you per, uh, virtually. Uh, the course syllabus can be found right here. And I have it pulled up right here. To go over. We are using the new syllabus template. It's not all that different than the old one, but it looks just a little different. Um, there's a navigation video. I'll stick this video in the Start Here tab, but I can't do that yet. Uh, course textbook. There is no textbook to purchase for this course. And then once you review this, uh, the course schedule I think is handy to have here. But this is also found in the syllabus, so I will show it to you there. Actually, why don't we go ahead and do that? So anyways, you can look through this. The main thing you want to look at is the syllabus, which I'm about to go over with you. And then you're ready to start module one. OK. Uh, the syllabus here, I want to first point out the pacing guide is the last page, page five of the syllabus. If you print one thing this session, I really encourage you to print the pacing guide. But you can always find it in the uh, course. It also should all be listed under the calendar. But I think having a copy in hand that you can follow along with, um, because I've had students that have had trouble managing due dates. We have a lot of due dates in this uh, class. You basically have something due every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then you have something due every other Saturday. So a lot of due dates. I think the schedule is very helpful. OK. Uh, the top header has changed. Um, so th the class does start uh, May 20th. Uh, Blackboard will not open. You will not have access to the Blackboard course until May 20th. There's no early access. I don't have a way to do it. The college sets that. And then the class is over on the 15th of July. 
Um, if you want to change your schedule, add classes, drop classes, you need to do that the first two days of the session, and that's dictated here. So no one will be able to add this class on May 22nd. Uh, and then the last day you can withdraw from the class is uh, the 20th. So after uh, June 20th, you're locked in the class and you will earn a grade. And if you're not completing your work, that grade's going to be an F. So um, keep that in mind. That goes for all, all summer classes. If, if your work schedule changes or you have enrolled in more classes than you should have and you're feeling pretty overwhelmed, um, you really want to withdraw by the 20th. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up being stuck in the course and earning a grade. So uh, the class is asynchronous, 100% online, no scheduled meetings. The college set that. I didn't set that. I, I couldn't meet with you guys. I mean, I would love to meet all of you guys, but I can't change the course modality. Um, I go by Mr. Lee. Um, I use my middle name, so you can call me Mr. Lee. Uh, email is the easiest way to get in touch with me. Here's my supervisor if you need, to, need her. Uh, I, there is a co-rec for this. Some of you are in the co-rec, some of you are not. Um, if you are in the co-rec, if you, your, your uh, scheduling should be worked out, um, but if you were placed in the co-rec, if you were registered for the co-rec, and you were to drop or withdraw the co-rec, I am required to uh, withdraw you. So, or if you know show the co-rec, I am required to withdraw you. So make sure you're taking care of business in the co-rec class. Uh, make sure you're completing assignments so you can stay in my class. Um, and I, if you have any questions about that, I can try to help you. Uh, I'll let you read the uh, SLOs right here, Student Learning Outcomes on Your Own. Um, I would encourage you to pick up a TI-83 Plus calculator, um, partly because this is the first class in our calculus sequence, and uh, the class pops, the, the calculator pops up in a lot of classes, so if you can get comfortable to using it now. I don't want you to be in a situation where you walk into Calc 2, everybody else in the class is comfortable using the calculator, but you are not, and that's putting you at a disadvantage. So I encourage you, you can pick them up for 20 bucks on eBay. I'd encourage you to pick up a TI-83+. Um, there's not, no digital resources to purchase, but we do use a, a platform called MyOpenMath, and I can demo that for you a little bit here. So let's just open the first homework assignment right here. Launch, please. Oh, okay, I need to set something up. Um, let's exit uh, Student Preview. That's the issue, I think. I think I need to click something so it'll work. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we can look at this assignment. Um, when we connect to uh, homework assignments, you're connecting to uh, MyOpenMath. So we're in MyOpenMath, but the, uh, the platform is integrated with Blackboard. It's single log on. You don't necessarily know when you're hopping from one to the other, and that's okay. Um, yeah, 60% date, last day you can withdraw is right here. They also uh, include in the new syllabus format uh, the withdrawal form link. But I can also help you with that process if you ever need it. Um, universal guidelines and procedures are listed here. 10 point grading scale. How will your grade be calculated? This is what students tend to be most interested in. Uh, tests are 30% of your grade. Uh, looking at the pacing guide, or I could go over here and look at Blackboard you will see that there's a test rough, yeah, every two modules there's a test. Each test is basically a unit test. Each test covers the material that we've talked about since the last test. So test four will cover the content in module seven and module eight. Uh, exams are 15 questions long you get one attempt on the test. There is a two hour time limit. It's open note, open book. You're welcome to use your notes. Um, 
and it's also purposely set so that you can fail every test and still pass the class. So I don't consider it high stakes testing. Uh, tests are worth 7.5% each. Homeworks are 40%. Let's demo a homework assignment. We can go back to the first one. I'm on teacher view now, so it's a little different. But let's uh, let's open this first homework assignment. And let's look at this first question, and let's just purposely get it wrong a few times. When I get a question wrong, I can always get click on get a similar question. So let's uh, get a similar question. Oh, I got it wrong again. Let's get a similar question. Oh, I got it wrong again. You'll see the counter up here tick down from 100. All right, you get 100 attempts on each homework question. When you finally get a question correct, you get full credit for it. So there is no harm, no penalty for burning through attempts. So if you are budgeting enough time, you can, you can get a really strong homework grade. If you're budgeting the time and getting the support you need, sitting down with a tutor, or reaching out to me when you're stuck on a homework question. If you put in the time and get the support that you need, you can get a really strong homework grade. That is the largest category out of the three categories. Students that have really strong homework grades do really well in the class. All right, labs. I'm going to have a separate video on labs, but the thing I want to stress with you is that you are welcome to email me your lab work so you can check it. Listen, my expectations on labs are very high. So I'm going to have a separate video on this, but we're going to just demo one of the labs. We'll, we'll look at lab three right here. And I even have instructions with all this, but the labs are all four questions long and they require you to attach your work. Your grade is not based off of whether you get the right answer. Your grade is based off of how your work looks. You can email me. I'm happy to check it for you. I have a separate video on how the lab, my lab expectations, but the lab expectations are basically this. I want you to provide me a gift to your future self. I am looking for good quality lab work that I know you can pick up in five years, 10 years, 15 years, 30 years. You can look at your lab work and you will know what is going on. So if there's a topic that comes back up, if you know in 10 years you need to uh, find the linear function using two points, I know you have, at least right now, something in your hand that you can use as a guide to remind yourself how to do that. So. I'm looking for quality lab work. So sometimes students are upset because they're getting points counted off and goes, oh, I didn't know you were looking for that. And that's why I really want you to, I really want to stress, please send me your lab work, email it to me, let me check it, give me an opportunity to give you feedback on it. Uh, late work, there is, this class moves really quickly. My students get, when a student gets a few assignments behind, they, they drown. So um, there's no blanket late policy. I really want to see you completing assignments on time because I, I don't want to see you just drowning in this work. Um, but if, if life happens, there's extenuating circumstances, email me, keep me informed, keep me in the loop, and I can absolutely work with you. I want to see you be successful in this class. So reach out to me, keep me in the loop, and I can work with you if there's extenuating circumstances. Um, there's no extra credit. The college does have a two-week attendance policy. If you're if you're uh, inactive for 14 days, I'm required to withdraw you. Um, there's a bit here about expectations. Uh, I'm at 14 and a half minutes, and my goal is 15 for this uh, video. So I think I'm in pretty good shape here. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's everything I wanted to highlight. So um, I really encourage you to print. The pacing guide, you will see there's typically a lab every Thursday. There's no lab for Independence Day. I gave you that off. And then the last lab is due Wednesday. Most of your tests are on Saturday, except for the last lab. 
or except for the last test because I need to record grades. And then um, you have homework assignments typically Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I really encourage you budget time. I encourage you to budget at least two hours for each homework assignment. Um, I also encourage you to take the time to watch the lecture. At least skim the textbook. You don't have to read everything. Watch the lecture, skim the textbook before you dive into the homework assignments because so often when students are really stuck, really confused by the homework assignment, I found, and they don't have any notes, they didn't do any prep for this, home, for this, uh, for this uh, homework, um, and that makes supporting you, dif it makes it difficult. So I really encourage you, set the table, take the time to really dive into the material and to, before you're trying to, trying to do the homework. So, all right, reach out if I can help. I'm excited to have you in the class.